All right, we're out here this morning with the Cyan Toys X25. I'm gonna go ahead and see how this thing drives and let's take it for a little flight and see how we like it. Let's go ahead and plug that connector in. It's got an on off switch, so we'll get it close to the ground here in a flat surface and we'll turn it on. Lights are flashing. Turn our transmitter on. Up and down. And she's ready to go. So now I believe to drive it is you leave the throttle stick down and use this to drive. Use your right stick. So you can see our wheel input there. Pretty, pretty straightforward. There's either left or right. There's no kind of um, in between, it's just full left or full right, and then back and forward. Yep, so pretty straightforward there. See how this, see how this one drives. We got uphill a little bit here, so not the quickest backwards coming, coming back. A little used to getting with the full left, full right. I wonder if my battery might have been low. I, I am not using the stock battery. Can't seem to get up the hill here, so let's go ahead and get it in the... That's what's nice. If you get stuck... Put that right into quadcopter mode. So that's that was low rate, and then we've got high rate. So we've got two rates, low and high. Got a little bit of a breeze, but nothing too bad. This is low rate again. I'll show you the yaw on the low. Pretty slow. Let's kick it up a notch here. Put it in the high rate. It really does make a difference. We've got a little bit of wind today too. Seems to be doing pretty good. Get some funnels. Pretty decent considering all the extra weight for the wheels and everything and having a little bit of a breeze. Nice little flyer. I think this would be an awesome, uh, awesome quad for someone starting off. Although it doesn't have the prop guards, but as far as an outdoor quad, I think this would be an awesome outdoor quad. Drive around this ground and then take off. That's pretty nice. The only thing I was wondering is it wasn't getting up that hill. I think it might have been maybe the battery I'm using. Maybe it's got a different discharge rate on it. <clears throat> Try driving with the factory battery here in a minute. But it's a little windy out. Let's see if she needs any trim. Looks like it might need a little trim. Yeah, see my bat, my LVC warning is flashing now. So we'll try another battery here, but it seems to be a pretty stable flyer. Pretty decent. I wonder if the rates make a difference. Yeah. Uh -huh. Seems to get tired after a little bit. So it's a rear wheel drive. And the front wheels do the turning, obviously. Just 
don't like ground. Wonder if it's the battery. We'll try the battery. Get the stock battery in there. Let's go ahead and try to do some do some flips with it here. See if we can get some close-up shots of this one flying. Pretty cool. All right, let's try to do a flip. Nice back flip. Front flip is pretty nice. Nice, nice flips. It's a nice flipper. Flips pretty nice and tight. It's a nice flyer. Go ahead and whip this around a little bit. Sporty flyer. Very quick. For its weight, I thought it'd be a little slower. It's actually very smooth, very easy to maneuver for me, I feel. I kind of like the way this one flies a lot. It's not the fastest, but it's got good speed. And the, the yaw on it is just almost perfect for me. And the way that the yaw reacts to turning, it's very expected. It's a very sure feeling. I, I, I like this quite a lot. The way it flies, wow. Uh, just for the quad purposes itself, I, I think it's... Uh, Really awesome flyer. Wow, maybe it's the weight of this, just giving it a little bit of extra weight compared to some of my other very lightweight quads that makes that reaction just a little nicer. Very expected. Nice flipper. Oh, looks like that was it on our battery. Oh no, we just didn't recover good on that one. Let's see how high we can get it. It's up there pretty good. And yes, those are Christmas lights still on my house. I'll be taking those Christmas lights off soon enough. Ah, oh, man, I love the way this thing flies. You know, it's not the fastest. Wow, look at that off, that avoidance there. I mean, it just, it responds as you want it to when it needs to. All right, we've got the LVC warning. Let's go ahead and bring her in for a landing. <laughs> I was gonna try to do a roll landing, but that didn't work. <laughs> Let's see if we can do a roll landing. That's pretty awesome. I think just being able to do that is pretty awesome. Reason to buy this quad. But I gotta tell you, um, really love the way this thing flies. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Driving wise, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's the battery. Um, I'll try that out. Uh, I'll put some notes if it was the battery for driving, maybe more of an indoor driver than outdoor with the rougher surfaces, but um, as far as flying, 
um, freaking awesome. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's so different about the way that this thing flies, the extra weight, I mean the way that it's just very anticipated when you're getting into turns and just makes it really easy to fly. Um, nice flipper and being able to land on the wheels, that's pretty awesome. So just that in itself, if not anything for the car reason, but to be able to have a super nice flyer that, that you can land pretty awesome, um, that's for, to me a reason to get this quad. So this is the SY or Siang Toys X25, I definitely recommend this one, um, so check it out, I'll uh, link so, leave some links in the description of where I got mine, um, but uh, wow, what a, what a fun quad, thanks for watching as always, and feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer them if I can, please subscribe to the channel, and like my video if you liked it, thanks.